Got Meow 16k along with Superman moving into a small bakery as well. We're gonna be removing all of the utilities being placed over there. Consider the Bob Wire or uh, even the ADS. Oh, Adi is back to his uh, his duty in the fragging department. We'll be seeing him get the frag on towards Meow 16k. Meow is not gonna be able to to quickly react onto that specific uh, reflex coming in from Adi. But that's just Adi, you know. Oh my god, again. A double for Adi, and he is looking for more. Definitely a third one is gonna move, uh, come in as well. I'm definitely sure that these players for Sad Team Board are gonna be going in for a bit of a peek. Yeah, there you go. Adi running out, getting one more. <laughs> that's just Adi for you, ladies and gentlemen. Three frags for him, looking for the fourth as well. There's one. Got Foxy with the Thermite. Well, Foxy is back to his main. That's right, he... Ooh, what the hell? Okay. Loser. <laughs> gonna quickly pick it up. We're gonna be seeing Foxy who's gonna open up the back stores. He's gonna go ahead and pick up the diffuser. Let's just hope that uh, the cab is right around the corner. The cab is over to the rest stairs, by the way. Foxy is gonna quickly pick up the diffuser. He's gonna rush on towards the bakeries. Do have Adi moving in from the back lines. We'll try and go in for the plant. Adi is coming in for the back lines, ladies and gentlemen. Skipper is gonna take down Rebot, and Adi is gonna take down Foxy. An absolute decimation coming in from Team Malika as they are gonna be leading the scoreboard right now. That's right. Go over to was the VIP lenses and start reaching. You know to get that plant. Well, not gonna be able to spot out Roddy. Who's holding on with the MP5K with Sonic taking down Slayer? It's gonna be time for Bablu Tandur to get the frag on towards Semiatrix. Bablu Tandur is gonna be going down. It's gonna be a two versus one situation for Team Ankita. Roddy gonna throw in that C4. Well, that was a bad C4, but it's fine. He made up a rotation for himself so they can quickly cross over to his bathrooms. But with him down, he's gonna leave it all down to Ankita. A one versus one situation. 30 seconds. The entirety of Team Ankita, they're going to ask Ankita to just patiently wait. Just don't rush in. Don't go in for the frag. It's fine. Sonic is going to go in for the fake plant. But Sonic, he's going to clutch it out. Ankita is not going to be able to go in for the pre-fire, nor the frag. And with that, you're not supposed to do that. Now you're going to leave Mr. Reborn all to his lonesome in a 1 versus 3 situation. 50 seconds. They know where exactly Mr. Reborn is. Like, the Baba is definitely going to be a big announcement right there and he's definitely gonna be announcing his presence over towards the eastern stairs there we go sam is gonna peek in We're gonna be seeing sonic getting taken out as well mr rebound a pretty easy clutch for him and there you have it ladies and gentlemen mr rebound with a one versus three clutch and what a way to save the round for the team but it's fine he delayed a lot of uh stuff you know it's down to 40 seconds, man, and, well, Superman had to do it. He had to do it. He had to sacrifice himself in order to Ninja Freak alive. Because he is going to be that guy who's going to save the round for Team Void. It's a match point, by the way, for Team Void. If they win this one out, which they definitely will, thanks to Ninja Freak and his incredible play. And look at this, Ninja Freak. He's going to go ahead and get one more. Looking for the final kill, and he gets it. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Ninja Freak. To end the round in style. And the map is to open up an angle so that he can peek in through that angle and get some frags but look at the bandit oh my god ninja freak sort of stole that kill in from the hands of void but it's fine actually you know void in in a way he sort of acted as a bait and the ninja freak just moved in from the small bakeries but yeah nice stuff mia 16k is gonna be going down it's fine she sort of did whatever she could have she dropped in the mute jammers around the site did I have the opportunity for the attackers to drone and get information? It's fine. Did what she could do best. And look at Ninja Freak. Man, he's just... This guy's just flexing on his aim right now. As he's roaming around the entire map with a two-speed, two-armor operator. He is actually... Frag. Because the player is moving in. And that is going to be the Ash. Sun Man getting absolutely wrecked. And Ninja Freak is going to go ahead and pick up an ace for himself. And... That's pretty much it. Just have to quickly rush in. Well, Bomb Astro and Sonic, on the other hand, it was a wrecking havoc. This is down to Void and Super Mad. The Bandit's life pin coming in. Super Mad is going to be moving up towards the Cigar Balcony as well, with Bomb Astro getting himself a triple. Is looking for the quad. 
Will he be able to get it though? Is going to be the most important question here. As yeah, Superman is right around the corner. Bomb Astro trying to go in for the peak, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bomb Astro with a quad kill to save the round for Team Mad Bros. Super Mad with the concussions and the impacts. You have got Meow 16K with the grenades as well. And Void, as always, the fragging. What should I call him? The frag god? Because <laughs> this is what he just. He just does what he does best. This frag, frag, frag. Got that immediate uh, entry on towards Sam Mad. They know where exactly the Cap Can Trap is. There you go, the Jaeger's position has been revealed. And so, as a position of uh, Legion. Did they open up the hatch? Yeah, they did. Let's just drop down the hatch if they want, because two of the players are over towards the Cocktail Lounge. Now, all they have to figure out is where exactly the other players are. So they can drop in one drone first, drone out properly, gather information, gather and tell us where exactly the players are. They, they've also got the lion for god's sake they can just start the e1d charge and know where exactly the players are meow has already jumped in out of the side we're gonna be seeing reborn jump in as well reborn is gonna go in for the plant we're gonna be seeing the flashes the candelas dropped in onto the side void is gonna get one on towards sonic we're gonna be seeing lockdown taking down mr reborn it is gonna be void getting one more and he is just unstoppable a triple for him is looking for the quad we do have bomb astro over towards the cigar stores but i'm not really sure if Void is going to be able to get the frag or not. No, yes, he does. A one versus one situation. Never mind. Make it a two versus one. I just forgot. Meow 16k right there. The, 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 the screen just got a bit, bit blurry for me. But yeah, 45 seconds. Sammy Attic is the last man standing. He knows where exactly the diffuser is. The diffuser has not been planted. They both can sort of, you know, move in together as a unit and double team on Sammy Attic. And that's exactly what they have to do. But no, Meow is going to be going down. A one versus one. Void versus Sammy Attic. Void trying to stick the diffuser here he is gonna try and go in for a fake plant first because like you know 25 seconds i mean i don't know he can rush in as well the legion is pretty good operator like the defy smg is gonna move in from the inside void is gonna slowly peek in he's gonna crouch walk Ooh, okay some 900 iq plays coming in from void sneaking around the map oh no this is not good and there you go void He's gonna get an ace for himself, and what a way to finish map number two and grab the championship of the game. It can I remember succeed stream on invitation? So give it up for Dean Boyden.